Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we are looking at sum2 from list1, and this is the Python solution. The problem states, given an array of ints, return the sum of the first two elements in the array. If the array length is less than 2, just sum up the elements that exist, returning 0 if the array is length 0. So this is one of the, if you've been following along, this is one of the first cases where we have to kind of really do a length, a length inspection before making a making some sort of decision about what to return. Um, and I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. I'm going to show you a kind of straightforward way that would work if you're doing the arrays one version in Java. Uh, and then I'm going to show you a nice way to do this using some Python shortcuts. So in this case, what we need to do, there we go. In this case, what we need to do is we need to think about what are our cases. Well, our first case, if the length is zero. And if the length of nums is equivalent to zero, well, in that case, I'm just going to return zero because there's nothing in the list for me to add up. And then, well, if the length of nums is equivalent to 1, well, in this case, I only have one element, so I'm not going to, I only want to take that one element, so I'm going to return nums at 0. And now, anything, if I don't go into this first conditional statement, and I don't go into the second one, I know that the length is 2 or greater, meaning I can just add the first two elements. So I'm going to return nums at 0, plus nums at 1. And I hit go, and there it is. Um, you know, this is one of those problems where you want to think systematically about doing your length check, because, you know, if you make it past this point, you know there's at least one or more. If you make it past this point, you know there's two or more, in which case you're not going to run in that index out of bounds error. Now, really quickly, before I go on and show you my other solution, I'm just going to delete that part and hit go. And notice you do get this index out of bounds error. So I just want to kind of highlight that point. If you're working with Python and strings, it's super forgiving when you're doing substring or if you're grabbing a range of values. Um, but it isn't, it isn't forgiving at all if you're trying to access individual elements, be that a list or an element in a string. So let's put that back. Okay, so now let's take advantage of some nice Python shortcuts. So there's a wonderful little function here in Python called sum, and you can pass it all sorts of things, and it turns out I can pass it a list, and if I just return the sum of nums, I can hit go. And it's actually going to generate the sum. And you can see in the situation where I have a length of 2 or less, it's actually correct. Because you see there, it's correct, correct, 1, length 0. But what's happening is in these situations where I have more than 2, it's adding up everything. And here's a really cool thing. And I only realized this recently, I just never thought about this you can actually access individual elements in a list just like you would um, parts of a string. Oh, I want this. So if I want the first two elements, I can use that same substring notation that I would use for a string and apply it to a list. So this is going to take the sum of all the elements in nums from index 0, inclusive, to index 2, exclusive. And I hit go, and then it runs. And again, back to this point, when I'm grabbing individual elements, the program will crash if the element isn't there. But if I'm grabbing a set of elements using the substring notation, and I know substring sounds funny because I'm dealing with a list, it actually will manage any type of um, situation where those elements don't exist. It just grabs what's there. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.